and uh, man, we're just hanging here in Fort Collins. We're in Old Town right now. And um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about getting drunk in the Holy Ghost. And man, I'll tell you, there is nothing better than getting drunk in the Holy Ghost. I've, I've drank a lot of things. I've, I've smoked some things. I've tried some things. And nothing, whoa, nothing will get you higher. <laughs> nothing will get you more under the influence, more intoxicated than the Holy Ghost. So the Apostle Paul in the Bible, he says something very cool in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18. He says, Be ye not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be continually filled with the Holy Spirit. So it literally contrasts being filled with the Holy Spirit to being drunk with wine. Because I tell you friends, the Holy Ghost is better than any natural wine. So there are 120 believers, they're hanging in the upper room, and they were waiting for the promised Holy Spirit. And the Bible says that He came like a mighty rushing wind, and they all were filled. And people that were around them, they looked at them and broke. They thought they were drunk. They thought they were all drunk with wine. Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to show you how to drink. Hold on, okay. But they thought they were all drunk with wine. And Peter told them this. He said, folks, folks, these are not drunk as you suppose. For it's only nine in the morning. But this is what was prophesied by the prophet Joel. That in the last days, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh and he's still pouring out and he's available for each one of us right now so jesus said come to me all who are thirsty and drink so i want to teach you how to get drunk how to stay drunk and how to get other people drunk in the holy ghost so my boy Pat right here is going to demo the steps to getting drunk. So the first step is you got to get a big cup. Get a big cup. Look. All right. So he's got his big cup. Second step is you say, Holy Ghost, fill my cup. Pat just said that in his heart. <laughs> Pat just said that in his heart, okay? So Pat... So Pat has a cup and it's filled with the Holy Ghost. So after you have your cup that's filled, you got to take a drink, okay? Three step process. You can do it in the morning. You can do it at lunch. You can do it in the evening. And you do it and you stay drunk, okay? So we got our cups on the... <laughs> on the count of three. Take a drink, okay? One, two, three. Everybody drink now. Get in the Holy Ghost. Drink, drink, drink. Everybody drink the one, the one, the one you love the most. Drink the Holy Ghost. Everybody drink now. I tell you, this drink is intoxicating it's inebriating it's so delicious and you wake up and you don't have a hangover you actually feel better than the day before and it's really good holy ghost is available to all to you all just drink it a lot and that's how you get empowered for signs wonders and miracles to bring in the harvest folks stay filled now pat show your eyes show your eyes See, Pat is drunk. I encourage you, get drunk, stay drunk, and get everybody else around you drunk. Father, I bless every person watching this right now with intoxicating, freeing, inebriating encounters with the Holy Ghost. 
I'm gonna blow it on you right now. Love you guys. Everybody drink now. Get in the Holy Ghost. Drink, drink, drink. Everybody drink the one, the one, the one you love the most. Drink the Holy Ghost. Everybody drink now.